to my channel. As I previously asked in the last line art tutorial, what do you guys want me to do in the next vlog? Leave your suggestions in the comments below. And the most liked comment is from Ben Hero PH. And their comment is, Hey Kimira chan, please do the different famous visual arts that can be found from your hometown. I hope my comment gets noticed. Thank you, Ben Hero PH, for your suggestion. Well, sadly, there is a pandemic right now, so I will be doing the vlog inside my house. Also, just a quick reminder, please always wear a face mask and a face shield every time you go outside of your home to do some errands. And guys, don't forget to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds when you got home. Well, let's begin! Don't forget to stay tuned till the end to see the surprise. Please like and subscribe and turn on that notification icon. Enjoy! Warning! Some of the images on this site may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. The first artwork is named Rape and Massacre in Ermita and it was created in 1947. The artist of this piece is Diosdado M. Lorenzo. The artist used oil paint on canvas. As you can see in the foreground, a lifeless young girl is lying on the floor after being stabbed and shot, while the woman in the background is painfully staring at the scene. But the central peak of the painting is a matron whose breasts are exposed, struggling with a Japanese soldier. She is grasping a knife trying to defend herself, as you can see here. And behind the ruthless soldier is a old man who seems to be the part patriarch of their family. He's helplessly lying on the floor while pitilessly bayoneted by another soldier. The soldier's clothing are green which may represent envy, greed, and revenge. As you can see the soldier's action, this depicts a typical scenario during World War II where Filipino men were slain, women were raped, and helpless children were orphaned when so Japanese soldiers attacked. Human subjects in this two-dimensional painting are emphasized using thick, thick brush strokes and earthy colors to give more light to the painting. In terms of lighting, the figure, figures in the house are well lit and they are not overlapping each other. Straight lines were mostly used to better define the painting. I won't go into too much detail since I'm going to show you five visual arts and the second visual art is a tragic lesson the fall of bataan this was created in 1957 and the artist is jean Cabrera. cabrera the artist used oil paint on canvas the skulls in this painting are staring into the audience reminding us of the devastation that occurs when people at are at war a lot of people's lives will be lost most people are going to receive harsh treatment and both women and men will perish in war the hats of the skulls stick out the most because of the intensity of their colors and their hue is different from the color of the background and the skulls the artist used the preform style in this painting. As you look closely to the painting, you can see that most of the lines are vertical lines. Symbolize hope that this devastating event won't happen again in the future. Lastly, the hat symbolizes the role of each skull. For example, the green military hat shows that the person wearing it is a soldier. Then the skulls with the white hat are women while the beige ones are men from our country. Third painting is The Burning of Manila that was created in 1942. The artist is Fernando Amorsolo y Cueto, another oil paint on canvas. As you can see in the scenes here, there's a large fire engulfing Manila. This is because the painting focuses on what happened in World War II. As you can see right over here, a lot of people are gathering while they're bringing their belongings with them. Those that these people are evacuating from the area, the colors that are used on the side where infrastructures are burning are mostly dark. It symbolizes the tragedy, unpleasantness, and unhappiness of each individual here. 
Well, for me, I think there's a bright sky next to it to show the yin and yang because there's always a reason why events like this happen. It might be for the benefit of the future. The fourth painting is named Doom Family, created in 1945, and the artist is Dominador Castaneda, another oil paint on canvas. You can see a dead exposed Filipino on the floor while the rest of the family are bound and bruised. Through this painting and other pieces of this time, artists depict the horrors of the war as a personal wound. There isn't a light or bright colors in the painting. It might signify that there is no life left anywhere anymore in this room. There were mass casualties, yes, but the most chilling attacks happened when they struck inside the homes. As I said earlier, a lot of women were raped and murdered during the World War II. The last painting that I'm going to show you guys is the planting of the first cross. This was created in 1965. The artist is Vicente S. Maranzala, another oil paint on canvas. Well, all of them are oil paint on canvas. This painting depicts the birth of Christianity in the Philippines by planting the cross in Cebu in 1521 with Ferdinand Magellan, Spanish soldiers, and the natives with intricate tattoos known as Pintados. You can see the Spanish soldiers right here are planting the cross while the na natives are just staring at them with curious eyes. The original cross can still be found in Cebu City. And this mural painting is one of the best represent representations of historical artwork. Manansala's interpretation is the combination of both traditional and modern techniques in painting. It also shows his mastery of transparent tourism. Fun fact, the artwork was commissioned by the national government in celebration of the 400 years of Philippine Christianization held in Cebu in 1965. That's all the painting guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. For the surprise! I will be doing an art giveaway. The mechanics are easy. You just need to be subscribed and comment why you should win the art giveaway. Some of the rules are in the description, so read them, guys. And thank you again, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and wear your face mask. Bye!